Hey you guys, Jeff the Maintenance Man. How's everybody doing? Um, hopefully everybody had a good Thanksgiving and everything. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna give y'all like a tour around the um, Prism 2 software, which if you are not familiar, uh, this software is to communicate with Orion controls inside of mainly our Aeon units. So, fire it up. Um, really simple software to use. Um, I can go into just how to set it up, I guess. But this is more of a tour, but I'll, I'll go ahead. So, hit login. Admin, admin is going to be your default admin, admin to get access to the software. Right there. Right there. Right by my head. I don't, I can't point to it. But anyway, I've already like made fake job sites up here. But the first thing you're going to want to do is click on job site and name your job sites that you like. Once you, let's say you crawl up on a roof, you get there. This is probably the first thing you're going to want to do set up your comm port. Um, set up a name for your job site, set up the comm port again, like I said. If you are legitimately using comlink2, comlink3, 4, blah, 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 you need to select those down here. I'm directly connected to a USB connection. Um, no, I'm not. But, I bought this for $4.00 and 99 cents with free shipping thanks amazon and it's just basically a comp port for a computer because older uh older computers didn't have uh comp ports on them I, I mean older computers had comp ports on them but um looks like that basically comp port well why did I buy this? And this is the breakout board, so I can take thermostat wire, hook up to the VCMX module on the unit, and I have communications. Why did you do that, Jeff? Why not just go buy a Comlink 2, a Comlink 3, 4, 5, whatever, USB link? Um, because they're $475. Why? We will never know. They do the same thing that this does. It's just a communication COM port. So screw that. It's a ripoff and a scam. So no thank you. So anyway, that's how you set up your job sites. Go ahead and click on this. La 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 la. Now if you are curious about this software and want to create a demo mode, they do have the demo files in that link in the description below. And I also have the software link below. Um, when you make your job site, you're going to throw those files that you download from their website into your configuration folder, which can just be a folder on your desktop like mine. There's your configuration folder right there. There's all my little demo projects. So, you can do that. Once you, once you do that, you have to name it this, demo mode, and then hit exit. And it will automatically grab the files for you and they'll pop in right over here and I'll give you a couple of these little demos to play around with should we do it all right so all you're gonna do is double click go to uh, your controller this one just so happens to just be an air damper and it looks like it's got a some kind of static um, sensor or something like that there you go you take a look at your alarms. Of course, if you were hooked up to the, the controller, it would show you in real time uh, all this data. Let's see, zone box controller. Is this another... What the hell happened? Don't tell me I just crashed the damn software. Let's go offline for a second. Hold on. I did. I think I crashed the dang software, guys. It does crash kind of more often than I like did it no yeah it just crashed <laughs> that's 
freaking great. All right, let's um, let's go back into my thing here. Where's that new folder from? It's just a folder on a desktop with all the files on it. Uh, so it crashed. Of course it's gonna crash. I'm filming. Admin, admin. All right, let's log in. All right, what were we doing? Oh, we were playing with the demo files. So, demo mode right here. Let's just go straight for the VCMX because that's what I, what we have. There you go. It's got nice little custom graphics kind of just to spice things up, I guess. Um, so, if I was actually um, connected to the unit, all this stuff obviously would be updating and you would be able to see like static pressures cooling heating stage blah blah modulation reheat valve positions blah 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 in here you can do your set points you know you got your all your set points for everything if the unit's not equipped with it obviously it's not gonna do anything um got your override so you can override scheduling and speaking of scheduling, that's your schedules. You get your holidays. Da, 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 da. And this is your meat and potatoes right here. The details viewer. Wham! This will uh, open up uh, this area right here will be full of what the unit's doing and blah, 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 blah. So you can turn on and off relays force them on force them off whatever since these aren't used they're not doing anything if you want to reset the power ups up here you can just click on the number and hit yes so there's your meat and potatoes or to be my meat and potatoes um also when you're in here uh there's uh you get more um see you get more options up here. So let's say you're getting kind of crazy, you know, getting going force on, force on, like this. You can just hit cancel force mo modes, and yes, and it'll go click, and it'll turn them back, all back off and put them put them back where they're supposed to be. Air balancing, I guess this is damper controls. Um. You could print if you have a printer, uh, data, a status report on the uh, thing. So that's another that's another cool thing is um, it, if I wanted to, I could I could go up there, hook this to a unit, and come back down with like get one of those little receipt printers or whatever to hook to the thing, print print off this report, and then you know. Give it to the AC company if they want, if they need it. They can see everything, you know. Uh, trending logs, blah, blah, blah. This is just a uh, going through the software and stuff. And, of course, set points yet again. Down here, you got static air set points. Staging delays. Miscellaneous. Calibration. Outputs. It'll show you show you what's going on with the relays on the board and if they're on or off. Blah blah blah. Configuration. This this right here, when you go into this, when you go into set points, it would be very, very recommended to save. Put it somewhere where you know where it's at. See, I got demo demo damper. I just tried to do that set set point files. Okay, I know. That way, if you do mess up anything in this software, then you can go to restore, and then, you know, after or whatever, whatever, and then hit that file, and then open it, and it will, anything that you mess with will go back to default, or back to the way it started before you started messing with it. So before you start going and getting clicking and getting kind of crazy in the software which i'm not going to be doing this I, it's, i'm just doing this for curiosity's sake 
Um, if it does hook to the units, I probably will try it one day. Um, it's just two wires, TX, RX, and maybe ground for shits and giggles. But really, RS-485 is just two two wires. One TX, one RX. Transmit, receive. So, um, But like I said, I'd probably be on this page, and I wouldn't really... Um, do anything, you know, just watch the numbers, basically. I wouldn't be changing anything. But one thing I would definitely do is go ahead and set, save the set points uh, on this set points um, folder here. So if something does get out of craziness, um, I won't be responsible for breaking the Aeon unit even further. So... Um, but I would, I would probably not do any of this. Like I would just use this as a, the tool. It would be kind of like, it would be the same thing as me putting my hoses on it, but now I don't have to. I'd see what everything's doing. So there's, um, um, uh, it'll show you the, uh, pressures and stuff and saturation temperatures. So you can, you know, tell if it's low on charge or not by that pretty cool software though let's uh let's go play around with some uh more demo files here we got these are all i, I guess this unit's off <laughs> um there you go you got a boiler control it looks like this does a boiler so yeah, so whatever has Orion controls, a Wattmaster controls on it, and uses Wattmaster, Orion controls, whatever. Um, basically, this is a good, good little piece of software to um, diagnose with. Just curious. Um, just uh, going around and doing a the tour of the software, huh? VAV summary screen. Oh, okay, cool. See, but if y'all, if you guys, um, if anybody is interested in it, link is in the description below. It's free software. Um, to get it all set up and everything, just f um, there's some tutorials online as well. I might put those in, um, the thing how to set it up and stuff, but. Uh, they don't dive too deep into it. So. Uh, one thing I found particularly peculiar is when you do set up Comlink, it asks you again for uh, the password. And I put in admin. 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 And I get that. Insufficient passcode level to access this feature. So. I don't know if that's going to change anything because it does definitely look like I can go online. Um, here's here's the... If I double click on this, it does come on. And COM6, which is this right here. So it's communicating with this. I even seen it blink every once in a while when I was messing with stuff. But without being connected to the unit... It really, nothing comes up. Um, so, not very exciting there. Guys, I'm Jeff, the maintenance man. Just thought you wanted a little tour around the uh, Prism 2 software that I've been mentioning. And uh, see what it looks like and how it works and stuff. Until then, you guys, if any of y'all need help like with the demo mode, how to get it set up or anything, just uh Put it in the comment sections below if you're trying this and wants to play around with it. But, guys, I'm Jeff the Maintenance Man. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until then, we'll see you on the next one.